So today we'll have like a mix of drugstore products, beauty products, clothes from Shein. I think I'm gonna end with the Shein stuff. Oh wow, my first Shein bag. Impressive. Why the hell am I buying expensive? Shein, I'm impressed. Hi guys. Today is raw Angie. You're gonna get to see me. Very little makeup. I just got my YSL lipstick and I literally just put some of it now just to not look as sick. I just had a surgery last Wednesday and today is Monday, so you can imagine. And I just got back from work. It's my first day to work and I went and I did some shopping and I also received a package and I thought I would come very raw today and share with you what I got. So today we'll have like a mix of drugstore products, beauty products, clothes from Shein. I have a wedding upcoming, so I bought, like last time, many dresses from Shein to try on. I, I don't know what happened to me, but I lately kind of like to look at Shein while I already shop secondhand. If you don't know, I love to shop secondhand for sustainability, but I thought this type of raw video where we one-to-one -one talk to each other might be something nice that you would like. Let's maybe start with the beauty products. So I have been lately wanting to keep my product use to stuff that are more, how can I say that, drugstore oriented. I'm trying to save money because really beauty products can get up to a 500 euros a month for me. Uh, when you buy like the Chanel and the Dior and the Orbe shampoo, it can get to that price. And if you're like me, I shower every two days, you go through these products pretty quickly and we don't want that. So um, I wanted to save that money to buy something for myself by the end of the year uh, for my birthday from Hermes and instead just go back to using drugstore products. And actually I've been looking on TikTok lately and a lot of people say that the products that are from drugstores are as good as expensive. So I thought I will go back to my favorites. And these are the favorites that when I'm kind of broke, I go back to. I believe that smelling good starts with your hair. If your hair smells good, everything else you do will stay because you will have this train behind you because your hair smell good. And my favorite is the Garnier Fructis, the aloe vera hair food line. And I say line because I use everything the shampoo, the conditioner. This is more for normal hair, uh, normal to fine hair that is a little dry. This smells very nice and it stays on my hair, but especially I use everything from the line. So shampoo and conditioner, hair mask and the leave-in. And the leave-in is for air drying your hair. And I most of the time air dry my hair and use one of these scrunchy heatless curls. This doesn't do curls for me. It makes most of like a blowout wave look. I like that more uh, because I run late all the time. I don't have time to do my hair lately and especially with my surgery. So this is just perfect and it smells beautiful. So this is the hair stuff. Another thing regarding hair, I started to grow white hairs. They are sparse so I have like random hairs all over and that pisses me off i don't know some people like their white hair but for me it just looks like a bad balayage if you know what i mean my favorite cover-up hair dye is the l'oreal casting cream gloss because it is ammonia free so i can actually use this without feeling that i'm stripping my hair off it actually leaves my hair very very soft and this is the chocolate cookie it's more of like a warm toned brown but this brown is very very close to my natural color of course when you dye it first it will be dark and then later on it will get lighter with washes and it just stays with me long. I love it. I always buy pimple patches because I have a very bad habit of picking on my pimples, but this kind of protects me. So I have a pimple over here and this is going to be perfect. I always stock up on these and these are very, very cheap at the drugstore here. I buy the local drugstore brand. For shower gel and lotion, one of my secrets is to layer your shower gel and lotion and I advise you to get the same ones my favorites are the Yves Rocher vanilla ones, but if I want to get even cheaper than that, because the vanilla ones, like the one bottle is eight euros, this is four each, 
I think this is two something and this is four. So it's like together, it's like almost the price of the shower gel only from Evie Rocher. So that's even cheaper. I love Nivea lotion so much. The blue bottle is the best thing if you want your body to shine through. But this is like a limited edition rose and jasmine and I thought I would try it. But Nivea is the best shower gel and lotion I find. I like it even more than Dove, although a lot of people are crazy about Dove. I'm not one of those. Nivea all the way. And this smells like floral and very elegant type of floral. I love it. Last in this category, but not least, I saw someone on TikTok talk about this Caudalie um, oil, smooth and glow oil elixir. And this has figs smell. It smells very, very expensive. And when I put it on my arms, it really smelled super fresh. So I would love to try to mix these together. So the figs a little fruity with the floral on my body. I love, as I said, to layer scents. So with my hair and body in that scent, I can't wait to remove the patch and get a shower soon. That's kind of the inspiration behind the whole haul that I'm having, I guess. Yeah, so this is the beauty products. For the home products, there is a shop here called Depot. It's like Home Depot in the US. And they are selling this air purifying, or what do you call it? It's like diffuser of scent. And this usually costs 60 euros. And today I got it for 30. They had like 50% off and I, dying to get that so I got it and I got the smell with it it's like the creative break relaxation oil I smelled a couple this was also half price so I only got it for three euros so that is the home stuff this is the first time I buy stuff from Shein that are not just clothes so I wanted to try it out by the way if you want to see an updated hygiene routine let me know so let's start with things that don't need to try on let's start with the first so this time i tried to purchase sunglasses from shein and i love the packaging it looks very elegant oh wow i'm kind of impressed by the way, guys, this video is not sponsored by anybody. This is literally very raw. If it's sponsored, it wouldn't come out looking like that. This looks super elegant. You guys, I don't know if it looks nice on me, but I love it. Let me look at the mirror. This looks extremely elegant, like it looks expensive. It has a Burberry vibe, but this is not a logo of Burberry or anything. I love it, I'll keep it. I also love the sunglasses pouch it comes with it. Love it, keep it. This is headband. I love headbands. I have the gigantic velvet one and I wanted a normal sized velvet one. So this is the gigantic velvet one that I wear and this is a normal one, let me style that for you so this is the gigantic black that i have which is good it's like a look but i want one that is easy to wear on the daily like this one of course when my hair is down but my hair is very greasy so that's for later i love this item as well i'll link everything down below but i'm showing my first shein bag so actually all the bags i have are high-end bags or if not high-end it's like from Longchamp or something this is like my cheapest bag for a while <laughs> impressive oh wow this is very impressive guys I am shocked shocked and shook it to pieces <laughs> This is crazy good. Why the hell am I buying expensive? I mean, I know why I'm buying expensive, but you know what I mean? It looks very elegant. Wow. Like it's, it's good quality. Of course it's not real leather, but for the price you're getting, it's like a trendy item. Or sometimes when you're traveling or you want something that is easy to wear, this will be perfect. She in, I'm impressed. This is like, you know, I'm gonna make like an old money elegant vibe. Of course, old money here, I'm using it as a 
tacky, gimmicky social media word. I don't mean it like that. If you haven't watched my opinion about old money shenanigan on social media, just go watch it, but I'm just saying it. This looks super expensive. It's also pretty roomy for how small it looks. It's pretty roomy and very well lined. It has two pockets, one zip pocket and one normal pocket. This is what I am very excited about. Do you remember in the dupes video I made recently, I have shown you two dupes for the Cartier tank watch. Now I have even one more cheaper dupe. <laughs> so that is a dupe from Shein to the watch. You're kidding. <laughs> Oh my God. Crazy. It says elegance is an attitude. You go boo. I don't know if you can see this. What is this? off Apple watch guys are you kidding me this looks perfect this is the best old money edit I've ever made <laughs> wait for the next piece now for the last but not least my first sheet and shoes it's like Christmas oh my god Can we just have a moment for this? Wow. So it's, this is like leather imitation, the buckle, like the horse buckle, and this is fabric. I'll try them on. I have problem in my feet. That's why I actually love Vivia shoes all the time. There is a collab coming, by the way, just stay tuned. But let's see if the size of this is comfy. Holy crap. These are so comfy, my goodness. It's as if I'm not wearing anything. This is crazy, crazy. Oh my God. This is my favorite video of all times. Are, I already have black pants on, but I saw these and I think the cut is different. They have pockets from the front and I wanted another black pant. If this fits me well, I'll buy it in several colors because you know, I'm a corporate girly. I'll try that on. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I think on the pictures that that looked nicer. <laughs> I mean, do you see this detail? It cheapens the look a lot. I look like a waiter. The pants are nice. They are quite tight, but I think I like that. They are tighter on the waist. I hate that top. I just hate it. Let's move to the next top. This is another, the top that I was talking about. I think in the picture it looked much nicer, but I wouldn't keep this. Clear return. It's not super comfortable to move the arm. It's not super comfortable to put it in. I had to struggle, so I don't think I'll keep that. The pants, I love them. I'm digging them, I'm keeping them. Oh, wow. This feels really good material. Material of this feels really, really good. I am loving the fit of this. I usually walk around like this. I love it. Please, can we? I love that. This looks super elegant uh, for a working day. I usually don't like some days to wear something very feminine. And this will be in those days where I'm working at the factory. Perfect. Uh, I love the fit of this. It's very warm. I'm going to start melting. Now it's time for the dresses. Do you see what it shows? Like I'm a little bloated because after the surgery, but... 
this just looks super ugly return <sighs> now we are talking i love this dress I love 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 it and the material is really really good special of course I will need a corset or just deplope myself but yeah this I love it and the color is actually is from my color family I'm an autumn color uh, when I did my color analysis but I love this uh, my husband thinks it's very summery for the occasion the occasion is in Austria in September so it's too summery but i think this is one of the selections that i will keep as maybe for a little summer party or something but i love that dress some dresses look good like i don't know if you've watched before all the videos i talked about body types and you know i'm a theatrical romantic and this is exactly a dress for a theatrical romantic body and that's why it looks snatched i don't need to wear any corset underneath to make my body look better this automatically suits my body um i would love for you to tell me which of these dresses you think i should wear to a very like castle like wedding uh, in austria in september let me know uh, i'd love to look rocking and maybe i will do a get ready with me for the wedding day but yeah and I hope you like such a video. It's very raw and authentic, but I think you missed that on my channel. And I'm going to give more of that every now and then. So stay tuned. So now I understand why my friend didn't want me to wear that dress. Um, she said it looks like a funeral dress. I totally agree with her. So we're skipping on that. I love this. I feel like Cinderella in that color. This has a cutout from here. I didn't notice it. So I will need to maybe wear like a thinner bra. It also is a little loose from here. It, it's supposed to be like that. But I think if I take it in from the side like this, it will look perfect from the top. I like how this falling on my stomach, hiding it. Of course, I will need a corset because otherwise from the back, it's too revealing. I have cellulite like 90% of women and I think I'll need a corset anyways for any light colored dress, but this is also like a keep, I guess. This is a personal favorite of mine. I ordered it before from Shein. It's very inspired of Roman style times. Of course, I'll need to wear shorts under this because it's kind of revealing when I sit down, which is not super comfortable. It is not a comfortable dress, but it's more of like a gala style dress. I also love this. The color is also in my color palette and it suits my theatrical romantic aura <laughs> body type. What? Take my Kibi body type test. It's going to help you figure out your body shape and kind of eliminate a lot of dresses for you from the get go. I hope you liked this video you've seen like I always when I whenever I order from Shein I am always surprised because sometimes certain things come very beautiful and I would love to keep them but sometimes other things show up and they're trashy like I need to return ASAP like this video if you like it dislike it if you don't comment what you think which is your favorite pieces would you purchase some of these things let me know let's chat in the comments and if you like to see more videos like this make sure to turn notifications bell on and i'll see you in my next one bye bye